Friday at midnight marks the end of Governor Gretchen Whitmer's moratorium on rental evictions. A lot of people are asking for an extension of that order. Even if it doesn't happen, there are rights renters have and avenues they can pursue. 13 on your side, Sarah Makuda explains. As Governor Whitmer loosens restrictions that have been in place for weeks since the COVID-19 outbreak, the executive order temporarily suspending evictions in Michigan will expire at the end of the week. Experts say the best way forward for tenants facing eviction is to communicate with their landlord. So that they have an opportunity to go, all right, what's going on? Are you looking to get back to work? Maybe there's something I can do, um, but if there's just no communication, most landlords are going to fear the worst. Attorney Kevin Sutherland suggests tenants and landlords enter a forbearance agreement. And what that really means is take whatever is owed for the last few months, just take that amount and break it up over the next six months, if that's the end of the lease, whatever makes the most sense. Either tenants or landlords can suggest the forbearance agreement and make sure you get it in writing. Kevin also says that even when the extension is lifted on Friday, a lot of properties are protected under the CARES Act. That still prohibits a landlord from seeking an eviction based on non-payment of rent until after July 25th. But also, the tenants have rights. Number one, the right to proper notice. I think it's a little unclear uh, specifically how they want us to proceed after the July 25th date. And I'll tell you, that's, I, in my mind, the bigger date. For a list of those properties, go to 1390side.com. Additional resources for both tenants and landlords are available through Heart of West Michigan United Way. Agencies in the area, you know, you have legal aid. The Grand Rapids Urban League has landlord-tenant department in that, you know, and they can sit down with you and, one, let you know what your legal rights are as a tenant, but also work with you on maybe, like you said, the forbearance agreement. And again, communication between tenants and landlords right now is key. The best thing you can do is to have open conversation with your landlord and mortgage company and see if you can come to some type of an agreement um, to help you and them move forward. Sarah Makuda, 13 on your side.